Hello and welcome to another episode of Jedi's Pagan Vlog. I'm Reverend Jedi, and it's been a while since I've been able to do one of these videos. I've been having to deal with, you know, real life things. Um, but I am back, <coughs> and the, um, today's video about dreams, we'll be just picking up right where we left off after our last one. And of course you can find all of our, uh, all of my other videos on YouTube. Just search uh, for Temple of the Starry Skies, and you'll find me. In Wicca, dreams play an important role in spiritual practice and in personal growth. <clears throat> dreams are seen as a means of communication with the divine and a reflection of the subconscious mind, providing valuable insights into our inner workings, motivations, and through dream work, Wiccan seek to deepen our spiritual connection, gain insight into our lives, and access to the wisdom of the spiritual realm. One of the key beliefs in Wicca is that the divine is present in all things, and that we can connect with the divine through various means, including through dreams. Dreams are believed to be a way in which the divine communicates with us, providing guidance and insight into our lives. Many of us Wiccans believe that dreams are a reflection of our subconscious minds, and that they can reveal hidden thoughts, fears, desires, motivations, that we may not be aware of during our waking lives. The gates of ivory and of horn are a reference to the two different types of dreams in Greek mythology. <clears throat> These dreams are mentioned in the epic poem The Odyssey by the ancient Greek poet Homer. <clears throat> Excuse me. According to the myth, uh, there are two gates through which dreams pass before they come to us, the gate of ivory and the gate of horn. Dreams that pass through the Gate of Ivory are said to be false and deceitful, while those that pass through the Gate of Horn are considered to be true and meaningful. The Gate of Ivory is believed to be made of smooth and polished ivory. Dreams that pass through this are said to be insubstantial and fleeting, like a cloud that dissolves as soon as it is touched. These dreams are believed to be false and deceptive, providing no real insight or guidance. On the other hand, the Gate of Horn is believed to be made of polished animal horns, and dreams that pass through this gate are said to be valid, vivid, and powerful, filled with meaning and symbolism. These dreams are believed to provide genuine insight and guidance, and are often re revealing important truths about oneself or the world. The concept of the gates of ivory and horn has been interpreted in many different ways throughout history. Some believe that the gates represent different states of consciousness, with the Gate of Ivory representing the everyday mundane world, and the Gate of Horn representing the world of dreams and the unconscious. Others see the gates as a metaphor for the, natural, for the nature of dreams themselves, with the Gate of Ivory representing dreams that are meaningless and forgettable, while the Gate of Horn represents dreams that are memorable and significant, the kind that linger with you afterwards. Through dream work, Wiccans seek to deepen our understanding of the divine and our, their connection uh, to the spiritual realm. Uh, this can be done through a variety of practices with, such as dream interpretation, dream journaling, and lucid dreaming. Dream interpretation involves analyzing the symbols, imagery, and themes present in a dream to gain insight into its meaning. This can be used through the usage of a dream dictionary or through personal reflection and meditation. Um, it is worth noting that dream dictionaries, well, they can be a useful tool. The, the definitions that they assign to a particular symbol in a dream is the interpretation of the author, and that may vary person to person. Dream journaling involves recording dreams into a journal to track patterns, themes, and symbols over time, and to gain a deeper understanding of their significance. Um, I do uh, dream journal on a regular basis. Um, I do find that I tend, like most people, tend to forget it within a few minutes. So if I don't necessarily have time to immediately write down my dream, what I'll do is I'll pull up my phone and I'll just send, and I use speech to text to send myself an email um, about the dream. Uh, recalling as much detail as I can, and then later on I can take that um, and actually journal it. Lucid dreaming involves becoming aware that one is dreaming and consciously 
interacting with the dream, allowing for you to take greater control of the dream and the ability to explore the dream world more deeply. Dream work can also be used for divination or for the practice of seeking guidance and insight from the spiritual realm. Many Wiccans use dreams as a form of divination, interpreting the symbols and messages present in our dreams to gain insight into our lives and spiritual paths. Dreams can also be used to connect with specific deities or spirits and to receive guidance from ancestors and other spiritual beings. This can be done through dream incubation or the practice of setting an intention before sleep to connect with a specific deity or spirit. In addition to providing guidance and insight, dreams can also be used as a tool for personal growth and for self-discovery. Through dream work, we can seek to understand better ourselves, our motivations, and our fears. Dreams can reveal aspects of ourselves that we may not be aware of during our waking lives, and they can provide a window into our subconscious minds. By exploring our dreams and working with them, we can... Oops, sorry. Sorry, thought I silenced my phone. Um, dreams can reveal aspects of ourselves that we may not be aware of during our waking lives uh, and can provide a window into our subconscious minds. By exploring our dreams and working with them, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Dream work can also be used to heal emotional wounds and trauma. Many Wiccans believe that dreams can reveal the underlying causes of emotional pain and can provide a means of processing and healing these wounds. By working with the dream in a therapeutic setting, we can gain a greater understanding of the root causes of their emotional pain and can work towards healing and tra personal transformation. Overall, dreams are an important aspect of Wiccan spirituality and of personal growth. Through dream work, we seek to deepen our connection to the divine, gain insight into our lives, and explore the hidden depths of our subconscious minds. Dreams are quite valued as a means of communication with the spiritual realm, and as a source of guidance, insight, and a tool for personal growth and healing. Um, I hope I gave any new practitioners a couple things to think about, and a place to jump off um, for other study. Check out my website, uh, wiccan.pw w-i-c-c-a-n.pw and I'm also on YouTube just search Temple of the Starry Skies thank you for joining me take care and I hope you have a great day